Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to welcome you to the channel dedicated to Tony Ferguson. Yes, an ultimate fighter winner, Tony Ferguson. Pull the tape for this lightweight collision. Diaz is 30, Ferguson is 32. The rest is virtually identical. And once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. It's time! A round in the UFC lightweight division. It's an easy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Ventura, California, Tony El Cucuy Ferguson! And now with the disease opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! All right, good to be losing the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out front. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right so now. And here we go. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Black trunks for Ferguson. White trunks for Diaz. Joe, Nate Diaz, the amazing thing, is very young, and he is continuing to win, and he could truly skyrocket in the lightweight division. Yeah, that kid has got a world of potential. He's got a, a, a great build for MMA, tall and lanky. He can catch chokes, triangle chokes, and arm chokes in a lot of angles that guys with shorter arms can't really catch. Plus, he's got a great leash advantage over most of the guys he faces. Phenomenal endurance, great work ethic, and just tough as nails as well. Solid punch by Diaz. He's now back to half guard. Oh, he's punishing the body from the top. Nice movement on the ground. In the full guard here. to stand these guys up. He's back in the full guard now. Looking to pass guard. Good sweep. He's got half Let's go, let's go, it's a warning. And he reverses position. Joe, three minutes remain in the round. Side control again. Half guard. Great position. He's got a mountain here. He postures up. Nice right hand. 
That's a good, good shot right there. Very good shot. Push off his head and posture. Hip escape, nice hip escape. And he got back to guard. Oh, big shot from the top. Oh, he gets reversed. Great transitions on the ground. Trying to take the back here. Under two minutes now. Win the scramble. In Win half the guard scramble. position. his way into north-south. Neats trying for the choke. Looking for that guillotine choke. He drops down for it. Wraps the leg around the back. That choke is deep. He's got his hands locked together, Mike. This is a tie. Guillotine here. Wow. Oh, it's That's over. It. That's it. it. It's all over. Set it up. Close it off. Got the choke for the tap. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. Let's take a look at the setup here. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. And here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rodriguez is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. He's playing the winner by tap out. Nate Diaz! Nate Diaz, your winner by submission.